Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Leo this is Shah and this is your romance reading for September 2020 and the first card that you have is attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully so enjoy each moment of each day as each day brings something new and by this card it is saying that you are in the limelight or the spotlight and you are attracting, you're the magnet. You are tra attracting new romantic love. And to co uh, confirm this, you might be in a transform a, uh, transformational period as you've got the death card, number 13. And number 13, for me, in the I Ching is fellowship. And that means you are attracting new friends, men or women. Okay, it could be a Scorpio, as the death card represents Scorpio as well. And of course, um, uh, this is leaving the a face behind an old face, closing old doors. That's why you are in transformation. You might be a little bit out of balance, but remember, you are no longer the caterpillar. You are the butterfly. So spread your wings and fly. This is awesome. I love this drawing. Can you see the wings? The angels and the divine have given you this new beginning. It's up to you whether you're going to take it or not. I, you know, um, some of you might be not hooked up yet. And for those that are hooked up, you are a butterfly for your partner. You are attracting. Uh, you have become magnetic. I don't know why. Perhaps something might have changed in your life. Perhaps you might have started to take a little bit more care or love yourself a little bit more and that is what you are projecting. You are projecting definitely positivity, new beginnings, exciting stuff, calling in your soulmate. Well, if you are hooked up, then you are most probably hooked up with your soulmate. This is really for people that are not hooked up. So do your affirmations, okay? And if you are hooked up and you don't think they are your soulmate, then learn how to look at things in a different perspective. Get that excitement going again. Be Do something different. Like I said, spread your wings. There's a new beginning on the horizon that will attract your partner towards you because you will be exciting and fresh and you'll be like the mag magnet like I said so do your affirmations your prayers your visualizations to bring the soulmate out of your partner and if you're not hooked up to bring in your soulmate a new partner 
definitely a new beginning. Then we have the Ten of Earth. The Ten of Earth, wow, that is absolutely phenomenal because you are happy, you are feeling good. This could mean that you might be extending your family. Um, it also, because it's Earth, it's pentacles, it might be that you might fall into uh, some money. Some money is coming to you big time. There's ending of difficulties. It's already in the beginning of the month. It's saying that there's transformation here. So there could be a gift from the family. It could be a gift or a mortgage that you've applied for has come through. And you are aesthetic because you're going to expand something. Perhaps moving from an apartment to a big house or moving from a house to a bigger house. You might be buying a house, but there could also be a family and friends reunion. Wow! There will be celebrations, and at these celebrations, if you're not hooked up, you could be meeting your soulmate. Wow! And because you are discovering that you are married to your soulmate because you've come through a transformation, you might be celebrating that with them, your partner, on the quiet, or with the family. <laughs> it sounds good. You've had heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yes, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, especially since you have been changing. Perhaps you've got new interests, like this new house that you could have bought, or this new job, or this promotion, and it's making made you interesting towards your partner, and he's seeing a definitely an, um, <coughs> a balanced relationship. He sees a definitely a good partner in you, even better than what you were, because everybody is unique in their own right. We've also got the Queen of Earth here, and the Queen of Earth, well, you know, if you follow me, then you know she's Mother Earth. She represents Mother Earth. You can see by the, um, the, the tummy that she has, she's carrying a baby. There is growth within her. She sows seeds, and she nurtures the seeds that she sows until they're fully grown and blossoming and then plucking the harvest. So if you've in, in invested in something emotionally or physically, you might be harvesting um, in the third week of um, August. And if you uh, are, have just got together with your soulmate and you had a heart-to-heart -heart chat, uh, it might be, I'm, I'm seeing uh, 38, 39, there's a limit or the bio clock is ticking because this is also nature, the bio clock. Uh, you've got also the ten of pentacles. Perhaps you are of age that you are scared to uh, get pregnant, uh, although you would love to have a baby because you were more career orientated and you're ready to start a family now even if it's just one child and you're having a heart-to-heart -heart conversations i would like to get pregnant i would like to have a baby from you let's start this family expanding it is lying next to the ten of pentacles which means also expansion not only in business but also in relationships so if you want to get pregnant then at the end of september Virgo time definitely um, that would be the third week in September you could fall pregnant but don't start stressing out because that makes it really really difficult okay take a word from a voice that has experience it will come to you because um, the divine has worked around you and you have changed you are ready for this new beginning. This is a new beginning, an ending, an ending of being together. You're ready to promote, uh, to m expand the family. And that could happen already in the second week, the third week, like I said, and in the fourth week, you've got a honeymoon. Perhaps you might be celebrating <coughs> that COVID is over or that the lockdown is over and you were planning 
to go with the family on holiday honeymoon for those that um, are getting married for those that are getting married you might be going on honeymoon in the fourth week of September enjoy the bliss of holiday to time together uh, <coughs> Yes, well, if you're falling pregnant in the second or the third week, you might just go for a second honeymoon and just in, uh, celebrate that something new is coming along or is on its way. And uh, that will be the last time that you'll be on holiday together alone. The next time the little one will be there, hopefully, if that is your wish. Remember, this is a general reading, so if you, um, if it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And then we have the nine of earth. The nine of earth. Wow, you're moving from nine till ten. And this is also, to me, the nine of pentacles is also a wish card. Like the nine of cups. Because let's face it, everybody would like to have enough money to live comfortably. So definitely, <coughs> excuse me, you're going into a new phase, leaving old faces behind. Because you've got one, two, three, probably three new faces to go through. Because you're in a transformation. This is a new beginning. A ten is a new beginning. An ending and a new beginning. A nine is also an ending. So you're going into a material uh, face, a much better material face that has durability and is for long term. It could be a job, you might be working from home now so and it's paying well or you might start your own business and you're working from home and it's bringing in the big bucks. That's why you can work part time and get pregnant and take it easy. So when the baby is here, you can still work from home, but you can do it part-time if you're still working full-time, which is great news. Seen in your unique way. People will be seeing you in your unique way. Like I said, look after yourself. You're transforming, you're growing, maturing. You're different. Something is different about you. The energy is also Virgo that we are in and when you um, hear this video go and have a look at the video Ener Virgo Energy it is a totally calming a calmer um, energy than Leo that is action as that is a fire sign and Virgo is steady but slowly and for long term exquisite being you have captured the heart of the divine but what worldly stan standard are you holding yourself to? Shine from within, through graciousness, generosity and thoughtfulness. How could you be anything else in the eyes of expectancy? There is always more that could have been done to feel that you are finally good enough. But for what and for whom? Perhaps trying to become a mum. Boom. And for whom, or a dad for that matter. Keep a soft place in your heart for yourself as if you were your own best friend. Listen for your own voice of judgment. It is usually to be found as odds and ends of the mind Stro strewn about and in need of discarding. Fill up with the frag fragrant truth that you are exceptionally fashioned by the powers that be. You are unique in your own ways. Okay. Now the aim answer of the angels is within the next few months. Ooh, something big is going to happen. Well, with these new beginnings I can't say anything I you know there's definitely a birth of a child or a birth of a new beginning a relationship or 
a new home together, starting life together and going on honeymoon. This is a beautiful reading. Now, you've got the lily, okay? You can see the church window in the back. So the angels are with you. They have heard your prayers and they will be answered. Because lily is good luck, but you might need to seek advice. This could be of a professional, but could also be a father figure or a mature man that you respect. If you are of age and you find out that you're pregnant, then you have to see your doctor to guide you and your health, okay? Because it is tougher to fall pregnant when you're 39 or 40. It's riskier for you and the baby. But don't worry, so long you take advice. Now you've got the number 30, be creative. That becomes a three and you've got the king of spades so that could be Gemini that will be advising you or that you could meet up with and fall pregnant by okay but don't exclude Gemini uh, Libra or Aquarius so we've got Scorpio we have Virgo but don't exclude Capricorn or Taurus as well and then we've got the air signs but we've got air here I said spread your wings you are ready to spread your wings and if you look good this looks like a body and feet going into the ground sprouting roots okay and then look at the it looks like a tree as well but it's a lady's face in here and all her ideas are coming out and the sprouting arms everywhere so there's big things happening this this deck is amazing because you see so much more your fantasy your intuition everything up there in that little box of yours or mine starts working the art is exquisite if you would like to see uh, the TLC for the soul or the kingdom uh, what was it called the terror of the kingdoms then go and have a look at the review and leave a reaction behind. I wonder what you think of them. Okay, so enjoy your beautiful week and month. Remember, the generals are already out. And sorry for not going live last week, but I've had major computer issues and they're still here, but I'm managing. So I hope to be out live Monday, Wednesday or Friday next week. Ciao, ciao.